Welcome to my channel. I'm the Soul Crafty Teacher. My name is Alicia. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hey everyone, welcome. So today I am going to show you how to merge a design, change a color, remove a step, download a design from Etsy, and move it all to a brilliance. So, Let's get ready for this Brilliance tutorial. First, I am going to go to my Etsy shop. This is Canva. This is where I used to make my thumbnails. Video on that coming soon. Just gonna go to Etsy. Etsy.com. Now I'm on Etsy. I am going to click on you, which is me. Click on purchases and reviews. So, I want the Mickey Mouse heart design. So, here's my Mickey Mouse heart applique. I'm going to click on download files. So, now I have the file downloaded. So, now I'm at the downloads. I have three different designs that I purchased. I'm going to click on this one, which is the download button. I'm going to go up here. Use my Mickey Mouse applique design and because I have a brother I have two brother machines and I have a baby lock machine I have to use files to have PES so I'm gonna click on PES now I have three size choices so I have a 4x4 four 5x7 four, a 6x10 so I'm gonna click on the Mickey arrow 5x7 Click on that. It's going to open in the brilliance. So open up in brilliance. As you can see, it is turned to the side. It is vertical. Let's make this Mickey Mouse heart horizontal. So we click on the design. Then we go up here. There's the rotating arrow. So rotate 90 degrees. We're going to do that. I am going to take this little bar over here and I'm going to minimize it just so I can see the whole frame. Okay, now that I have my Mickey Mouse, I'm gonna move it up just a little bit. And that's perfect. Now I want to add a name. And then once I add my name, I'm going to add all the colors. So I'm gonna add a name by going to create a lettering design. Click on the A. It's gonna show you ABC. Every single time you choose it, it's gonna say ABC and it's gonna to default to whatever font that's already embedded in the program. So I want to change ABC to an actual name. So it while it's highlighted, I'm gonna click on letters. So now I have letters. Okay, so now I need to type in the name. Text is what you're going to use to type in the name. So I'm going to type in the name Julie. Julian. And then I'm going to hit enter. So I have Julian. I'm going to go ahead and change my font before I move. So let's go back. So I do not want the block font. So I'm going to it says font. So let's look at the font. And then I'm going to go. So now I have my name. So click on it. I'm going to move it down. I like to make my name the same size of the design. Okay, so now that we have the name, we have the design. It is now time to, time to go in and check all of the colors. So this is how you change the colors. So I don't want Julian's name to be blue. I want Julian's name to be in red. So I'm going to click on the actual name, click on color, hit one color again, and the palettes are the colors that are in the design. Red are all the colors that are available. So I'm going to go to palette. I want the same red, brother embroidery red. Hit OK. Boom. I have changed Julian's name to the color red instead of blue. Now I do notice in my design, click off, that there's four needles and seven steps. I'm okay with the seven steps. Not okay with the four needles because I only have three colors. And 
I like to have the same number of colors to match the same number of needles, okay? So if I have three colors, I only should be using three needles. So let's go in and see what we can move around and what we can change and still keep our design. So I see deep rows. I do not need deep rows in my design. So I'm going to go to color. I'm going to change that. And I'm just going to change that to black because that's just a tack down and placement stitch. So now I have red. I'm going to keep red. I want the white. And then we want the arrows to be red. And there's deep rows again. We don't need the deep rows. So I want to keep my three colors. I'm going to click on it, change it to white. Now I have black. That's fine. Okay, and then my letters are red. So now, if I click here, you'll see that I have three colors, three needles, and then seven different stops. So we have seven different parts. So we have the six different ones here in the actual Mickey Mouse arrow design. And then we have the, the last step, which is the name. And you can choose if you want to do the name first, you want to stitch out the name first, or you can, if you want to do the applique first. I like to do the applique to get it out of the way so it can just stitch all the way through. Now, you may be wondering, how do I remove a step? So that is one of the things that we're going to look at. How do you remove a step? Okay, so um, I don't want Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse. I do not want Mickey Mouse, so I can click on that and I can hit delete. I still have my tack down stitch. So I need to make sure not only do I remove the final stitch, that I remove that one because you will still have that stitch top of that heart. And there you go. You have Julian and you have a heart with an arrow. And that is how you remove it. And I'm gonna go back to that one more time. Oops. I'm gonna go back to through that one more time. Okay. So let's look at the let's look at the design one more time. We have six steps. So I do not want the Mickey Mouse in this design. I just want the heart. So you click on it, click on the step, you hit delete. Make sure you also delete the tack down stitch, or it will also stitch out. So click on the tack down stitch. And I hit delete and that's it now I have a heart an arrow and Julian so that is how you change colors reduce the number of uh, needles used and also remove parts of the design and some designs allow you to um, delete parts of it and some of them are locked and whoever you buy your designs from they might ask you not to change the design so just make sure you read all of the information before you purchase on Etsy or, or any other website. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to merge a design. So this did not come together like this. Now I do have designs that already have the applique and the number already merged together. So you can see Hello Kitty is not attached to the number four. This is a separate design that I purchased off Etsy and the number four came from Creative Applique. So in order to merge a design, you see I have four. I'm going to go ahead and delete the four. Go ahead and delete the four. I don't need the four. But I do want to make this a number five birthday shirt. So I'm going to go up here and if you over over here if you move your mouse over the blue merge a stitch file and then click it it will give you an option to go into your files so I'm in my downloads I know creative applique that's the CA I'm using PES files PES files so now I have PES files I'm going to look for number five they're all PES that is six inches here we go so CE so creative applique block font 
H5 6 inches or number 5 6 inches. So I have my number. I'm going to move it here. Extend it just a little bit. And then I'm going to put my Hello Kitty right there. So let's move it 5 over just a little bit. So moving my 5. Now you see that the 5 is on top of the Hello Kitty. You want the stitching to be underneath. So make sure your number is first. That is the easiest way the applique is on top and the stitching is underneath. Numbers first. So now, now that we have now that we have the five, you simply there merge together. You take one file, take another file, you put them together. That's what that's how you merge. So I already pulled the Hello Kitty in and then I brought in the five. It was a four and I changed it. So my font I always use for this is a Dora font and it's by designs um, by Juju. So Adorn, this is two inch. You can use anywhere from one inch to two inch if you like. I like to have the name bigger and I like to have the name about the same size as the design. So, so now that I have my design, I want to make sure that through I want to remove the stitching behind it. So what I'm going to do, I have this, I am going to, oops, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to five, I'm going to click on the first step, tap on the color, right click, applicate position. Tap on the second color, right click, applique material. So that when I save this design, all the stitching in the back that you see behind Hello Kitty will not stitch out. It may be a line in the back to just to make sure you know the placement is when you're putting down your fabric or your vinyl, whatever you're using, but your stitches are hidden. So now that I have my stitches, they're hidden. A lot of times you can click on this and it show you. So you see how it removes your stitching. So if you go and tap, just like I did, I went to a number, I changed the net color. Went to a number, I changed the first step. I right click, I changed the applique position. And then I went to the second one, right click, and I changed change it to applique material so now all the stitching in the back is removed you don't have to worry about the extra stitching or her face or body being distorted um, the stitching is gone now for the name so I use adorn um, font and it's from designs by Juju so this is the only font that I use for my Hello Kitty designs I don't let the customer change the font, a customer can change the colors within a design. The customer can change the colors as long as they're using the four colors that's already in the design. I don't, I mean, I don't change it to red. I don't change it to green. They have to use light pink, hot pink, black. And if you want to learn how to alternate the colors in a name, okay, so. I'm just going to go here and click return. Now it's black. And I want to alternate the colors, hot pink and black. So I'm starting with, I have black. Then I'm going to click here. You see this little green dot? You're going to click that middle dot, hit color, change it to pink. Now I have black and I want this one pink. So I'm going to hit that middle, the middle dot, choose the color pink and now I have alternating color so I've shown you how I have shown you how to alternate the, the colors how to merge a design and to do the stitching to remove the hidden stitches um, I showed you how to remove parts of the design how to reduce the number of 
needles that are used. Um, this is a monogram. I'm going to show you really quick how to do this monogram. So I have this monogram. It's from Designs by Juju's Interlocking. This is an interlocking monogram. I am going to change it to let's do my let's do my friends monogram. So it's actually she. How cool is that? So I'm gonna take press that middle dot. When I'm, I'm going to take the middle dot and so it helps me move it I'm going to put it there and then I'm going to tap on the middle dot here and move it here and then I have my monogram and then I can change go in and change the color so my color I can change that color to I can change the color to yellow if I like and that's it so thank you so much for watching I hope this video helped Please let me know if you have any questions. Please comment down below if you need any other tutorials or brilliance. Have a great day.